All right, what's up guys? It's Josh here from Keep It Techie, back with another Linux command tutorial. And today we're going to talk about a command that most people overlook, but is super important for security, and that's UMass. Now this command controls the default permissions for every new file and folder you create. It's kind of like the hidden rules behind the scene that decides whether your files start off private or public. Now, before we dive in, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and makes sure you don't miss any upcoming Linux content. All right, so I'm logged into my virtual machine and as you can see, UMass doesn't have a manual and this happens sometimes with a lot of older commands that have been around for a while. They don't have a manual written for them. So what is UMass, you might ask? Well, when you create a file in Linux, the system starts with a default. For instance, files start with 666, which is read write for everyone. And then typically directories start with 777, which is read write execute for everyone. But obviously giving everyone access to every new file would be a security nightmare. That's where UMass comes in. Now UMass, what it does is it subtracts permissions from those defaults. For example, a UMass of 0022 subtracts write permissions from group and other. And so that means new files end up as 644 and new directories as 755 because it subtracts two from the group and the other or world which is what I like to call it. So UMass is literally a mass that blocks certain permissions from being set by default. Now you're probably wondering why it's useful. Here are a few reasons you should care about UMass. For one, personal privacy. You don't want every user on the system reading your files. Also, if you have a multi-user system, you may want files to be group readable, but not world readable. Also security hardening on servers, strict UMass keep configs from being exposed and also consistency because when you're a developer, this will help you ensure our project files start with predictable permissions. Now let's switch back over to our virtual machine and I'll walk you guys through a few examples. Boom. Now let's start with the base command. So let's go to run it. Let's type U mass and press enter. And you'll see right now the default mass is zero 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 two so right now it will only change the other for or the world for any file as four and then the user in a group is unaffected and let me show you guys that right fast so let's go down and create a file let's just use the touch command and let's go with a test dot txt and press enter and then let's ls dash l to look at our test file as you can see we come with read write and then read which is four and these two are six so six six four now let me go down and create a directory right fast so let's go make dir and then let's create a test dir so test directory press enter and if we ls dash l and press enter this will show us that new directory so as you can see test directory it removes two from here so it brings it down to read and execute for the world but the rest of it is read write and execute and you need execute for folders because that's the only way you can click into it if you take away executable then you can't click on it and go into that actual directory so that's why read and execute is fine when it comes to folders and read is fine when it comes to files now let's push this a little further let me go down and clear right fast because i want to show you guys some advanced usage so let's say you want to change the umass temporarily and you can type umass and then specify what you want to use so let's try 0077 and so this should be interesting let's see what happens now let's create a file called private.txt just to see exactly what it sets the permissions to so touch private text so let's go ls dash l press enter and we have our private text and as you can see there's only a read and write. Everything else is turned off for the group and the world. So that's awesome. That's what that seven is for. It'll remove all the permissions from it. So it'll basically subtract from the 777 
just the seven and the seven from the group and the user. So that's the default right now. And that's a temporary change, just so you guys know. And so this is perfect for like private files. Let's say you have a database with a bunch of passwords on it. Well, of course you don't want others to actually see it or get to it and open it up get to all your passwords and most password managers they'll have like an encrypted database so it's pretty hard to get into it either way but i recommend you private it so you're the only one that opens it up because there may be some tools out there that can break into those encrypted databases so that's an example of why you will use that map now let's say you want to set the umass permanently for your user and this is recommended if you're a developer and you create a lot of files and folders and you want them to have a specific setup when it comes to the permissions that are set for any files that are used. But what you can do is go into your bash RC, uh, which is definitely beneficial to use. You just go down to the bottom and you can add a line. I would recommend anytime you modify your bash RC, you always put some notes. So you mask defaults. Let's do that. And then let's go you mask and then let's specify what we want. So let's try something different. Let's go zero, zero, uh, two, seven. And then let's go down and save this. And all you got to do now is refresh your terminal. You can do exec and then bash. And that'll refresh everything for you. You can go back up to the top and let's go down and create, I don't know, a file. Let's go touch default. So this is our default settings that are in our bash or C file. So let's go touch default.txt and then let's go ls and dash l so ls dash l press enter and you'll see your default text file and what it does now is set all your files to read and write for you as the owner read for the group and then zero for the world and this is pretty much a great balance because it also set our directories to 750 so let's uh create that as well let's go make dir and then let's just name a folder default just to check it out and then let's run it again the ls l and we'll see our default folder and as you can see it removes two from here so that removes our right so only thing people can do is read and execute for the group and then everyone else cannot access this directory so in my opinion that's like a great balance for group collaboration when you're using 0027 that's what i do on like share directories because it's a good balance especially when it comes to you know having the permissions of 640 and 750 because you don't want the world to have access to everything or nothing really in my opinion and then you can also manage it using the groups so uh you can give people access to that directory by adding a group to it let's say it's the admin group and you got another user that has admin access you can add them to the group and they'll have whatever permissions are under the group so it's read and execute and then read right here now let me just give you a look guys a little bit more information but i know on ubuntu you can adjust um system wide umass let's go sudo uh, and then let's go nano and I cannot type today, but under our ETC directory, I believe there's a folder called login diffs press enter, and you could set your UMass, your default UMass in here. And actually let's just search right fast. So let's go and let's hit control W and let's search for UMass just to see where it is. And there we go. So default value for your UMass. You can set that in here, make your changes. So there you go, right there. So that's the default is 022 and that will be default for everyone. And then there's also another file you can access to do this. You can, I think it's under ETC as well. I, I haven't used it in a while, but profile, I believe is one you can modify it as well. And this will, basically provide a profile for each user and you can add umash there and it will make it system wide for our users on the system and let's go to exit out but for apps like web servers you know setting a umass in the service config ensures files are created with safe defaults so you can combine this with services just so you guys know now a couple more tips basically remember subtraction umass removes permissions it doesn't add them also files versus directories. Directories always need the execute bit for access. Now use stricter defaults on servers. I 100% recommend you doing it. Like for instance, 077 or 027 is common for security. Now you also wanna test often. 
create files after changing UMass to confirm the behavior. And also don't forget persistence. If you only type UMass in a shell, it resets when you log out. So that's pretty much the UMass command. It may seem small, but it's the invisible force shaping file security on your system. I definitely recommend you guys experimenting with it, try different UMass values, create test files, and see how permissions change. It's the best way to understand it. And if you found this helpful, go down and hit that like button, subscribe to Keep It Techie. And if you have any questions, go down and drop a comment down below. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.